I'm speaking for the nephew. It's my aunt, my auntie. First of all, congratulations. Uh, we love you. Came to express that by being here. You know why? Um, I moved back to Lakeland in 2017, and quickly became the errand boy. <laughs> you know, no problem because. My mother's a single woman, but they had their thing going from Arcadia to Lake. Now, mind you, what's the next little town? About Timber. Now, all the folk back. It's all folk. The little gas station right there on the left. And it's a family dollar right there. Now, how many miles that is right here? About 10. About 20. About 20 miles, but I didn't care. I just wanted to ride anyway, because I like stopping in Fort Meade, where I'm from. So I would meet Auntie. She got all the groceries. She got, <laughs> she got everything. I'm like, woo. Now I'm supposed to really go right back. <laughs> but I never get there. All the time. All the years coming down here, I love what y'all did here. I did so many memories. But I would say to Uncle Nate, now auntie, it's easy to, hey nephew, love you. But as a kid, that voice this man here got on him. Oh, uh, John. <laughs> I don't know if I done did anything wrong. I was just intimidated. Gentleman, as you got older, you know, they would always come to fold me, Nate, Tony, and them. We played like, wow. He remind me so much of my father who passed back in 03. They both tall men, but man, you could tell that, the, you know, the spiritual God was in, he's always, never, always encouraged, always said nice things, and always been there. And the biggest thing, what I'm saying is, you know, another man raised me. Step ain't no step when you eat by looking like somebody after a while. Ain't no step. I learned that through that. And I had a time, a difficult time during that adjusting because I didn't want nobody being with my mama but my dad. But you're a child. You don't understand that, of course. You grow out of that. But I remember sometimes he would just say, John, you know it's going to be. He would do that. And I, I didn't know if he knew, but it always meant something. I ain't never told you this before. But I appreciate that. Knowing who the man I am today and the silliness that comes with being a child, that's all it was. I had to adjust and learn that somebody else can love my mom as well. So, that being said, I just want to say I'm so happy to be here. I thank the Lord for both of you. It is a beautiful, beautiful, anniversary and a love story that we really all could I mean if you really into something you can get something out of all of this and I say God bless you and thank you for everything